Hey guys, how's it going? Doug here. I transplanted my elevator outside of my basement into this big old pit that I hope to fill up with various contraptions. And as you can see, the main body of it is twelve by eleven. And uh so, and I'll, some of the features that I have on it are, I've got some call buttons, like for instance if it's at the top and I'm at the very bottom, I can press a call button and it'll send it up. It's just a simple vertical transmission. And uh, this one I, I did a staircase transmission down. <coughs> Not really all that much to show you until it gets going so let's turn it on as you can see he's going up he might fall to his death because going up is kinda kinda risky and it's kinda neat to watch th these go up the the timing circuit to start it, it's a little, little bit large, yeah, but it's not too bad. And what it does is to um, activate a, one of these uh, pistons, one of these torches has to turn on. And to turn it on, all I have to do is I just uh, link it straight into the into the input. So the torch doesn't really turn on, but it's just like it thinks it does. The next level thinks it did. And the timing that I have on, uh, according to this tower, is it takes a total of 8 ticks to get from one level to the next. And so it'll be 2 ticks. This is a 2 tick pulser. So this will be... Uh, It'll be on for two ticks, then off for two ticks. And then as you can see up here, I've got a four delay with another... Wait a minute. Yeah, we've got four delay with another two delay. So that's a total of six six delay. Which, uh, well... Okay, and uh, the extra two takes is for, uh, okay, it's been a while since I looked at this. The extra two takes is for that torch to activate, to turn off there, which will start up the tower normally. like. And uh, so an additional four ticks, so it'll be two on down here, and then two off, and then it'll be on here for two ticks. And then it'll be off for two and before the second level is on for two. And etc. etc. all the way up there. And uh well, it, it made it all the way to the top by now, I'm sure. So let's press the button and uh let's watch it go down. You can see these torches right here, they'll light up as it comes down. See, there it goes. So you can see the torches. Well, oh, what happened? It's still gone. Oh, there it is. It'll be a torch. It'll blink real quick, and then the one right above it'll blink, and then it'll skip down a little bit, and that, that's just the timing to get it to go down. And here he, here he is. There he is. And uh, what? Oh, this tower. Uh, I made it. It probably doesn't need to go down this far. Uh, I just kind of kept building it. I was on a roll. And yeah, see, it goes down. 
probably two or three levels a lot further than it has to because these are only really affecting the the top piston because they'll they're pushing the bottom pistons well ahead of wherever the pulse is going to be at the time and the same with this the bottom one will push the or the up tower right here this will push the bottom pistons before they can even be affected by the the top pistons can even be affected by anything so uh, some of the problems that I have on this is like uh, for instance if you spam spam the button it kinda gets confused a little bit and what else if uh, like you press that and then press this they'll meet in the middle and it'll just kinda kinda screw it up a little bit so. and this one is this is 60 60 tall but it's completely scalable I could have this from bedrock up to wherever I see it kinda got stuck in the middle but the e the easy way to get it back down I can just press the call button again and it'll it'll eventually get back down here it actually takes exactly the same amount of time to get down here from you know even like uh, one square up than it does from the very top because I've got to wait for the whole pulse to come down but I was thinking that uh, a way to get like multiple levels like say this would be the top floor and then somewhere in the middle is I could press this and it would flip at RS Norlatch somewhere in the middle wherever wherever and it'll activate one of the, the pulse stars you know going up and alright well uh, uh, alright there daytime just so we can see it a little bit better Did that pulse never even come down what's up with that uh, Press that button again. We're having some kind of group event going on right now. Oh, all these are on. Huh. Yeah, why are all those on? See, that's something. Something went wrong somewhere. And, uh... Okay, well, here's the circuit for the... to send it down. And, you know, the vertical transmission just ties right into it. What it does is it uh, get the same thing two tick, and uh, then it gets raised vertical right up there, and uh, then no no delay goes up here. Then the four tick delays right there, and uh, for some reason that uh, you know multiplayer it's kind of buggy. Sometimes torches burn out for no reason. And, duh, oh crap, I'm not gonna, <sighs> well, uh, I'll have to wait for a restart, looks like, uh, just have a bunch of torches that are burnt out, um, if you have any questions about this, or you'd like me to see some more demonstrations, or, or, you know, anything, I'd be more than happy to explain anything. Uh, I'll I'll uh, keep you updated if I do add like extra levels that it'll stop at or anything. Um, that's that's about it. Uh, after after the restart, if it's 
if lag isn't bad and screwing up my tower like it is now then I'll uh, I'll, I'll try to try to film again all right uh, thanks for watching